Right, so today um, we'll probably do a bit of scene work. I thought that would be fun today. Um, got in the live announcement here that we will think about the second part of the fruit scene because we've done the first, it's all in the scene discussion channel now. Um, if you want to have a peep, have a watch, it's right here. And um, this part here will take us all the way to the first boss of the game. Um, and we still need to consider the scene after the boss. Um, and, and like the aftermath of that boss fight and what it's going to be like, what's going to happen. We have like a little idea of what's going to happen, but we can do the expanding on it. I'm thinking of that more and getting that scene done because it'll be a super, super useful thing to do. If we've got, it's this little purple label here on our Trello page. Um, And then once we've done that scene, we can literally pop it uh, there in the done section. And that will get rid of some of our to-do list, which will be nice. Um, as for everything else, battle mechanics. I'm not going to lie, guys, it's a tough one. Um, some very advanced stuff going on with this battle that's very out of my comfort zone. And because it's the first boss, I feel like we've, we've really gone all out with it as well um uh, i've posted a couple of things on the forums to do with um the the complicated stuff that we've been doing luckily one thing was done um last stream we were trying to sort out how to get the painting canvas uh, slide down onto the screen um and i've done that now done that one um i posted a forum post of that uh, last week and uh, I had two posts, two responses from that and I did the second one because it was a little bit easier than the first. Um, so that, that thing's done but there's just still a, a lot of work to do with that transition phase with the first and second phase. So I'm going to be working on that off stream because it's all very, very complicated stuff that I need to use my brain for. And Oracle, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. How's it going, Oracle? How are things on your end? Um, so yeah, I'll be do I'll be working on the um, a lot of the action sequence section um, on uh, off stream over the, the course of the next week or so um, because it's it's probably out of everything we've done since the beginning, the toughest thing so far. Um, I think I need to be careful not to be too adventurous in terms of what sort of things we do in things like the battles. It's not always easy to pull off. Um, it might be impossible. I might get a response from this saying it's not even doable. Um, and if that's the case, then I mean, I might not even get a reply. But if that's the case, I might have to simplify things a little bit. And I have an idea if we have to simplify it. Which is fine. Um, so in the meantime, we're going to actually do the second part scene because that is just as super important as the boss battle. And um, and yes, that's a great lip colour. I'm okay. I just finished playing a real life murder mystery game with some friends. Super tired now. Ooh, that sounds really fun. Were you the murderer, Oracle? <laughs> and thank you. Yeah, it's red. I need, I need a new lipstick because this one's running out. Okay, but that sounds super fun. That seems like a, a blast. Um, right, so, where are we? Here is our... Uh, here we are. This is our scene that we've already done. All this has been implemented. It's all finished now. The only thing that isn't in there is sound. We need to still add sound effects to that scene. Um, but um, National commented on this and I am in agreement with a lot of these things. I think, I think National raised some really good points here about the scene. Um, so that is something we're going to look into. It's only like very small little dialogue adjustments. Um, so we we'll, might look into that in a bit too. Um, 
but yes, so we can, if I get our law bible up guys, because our law bible um, describes a summary of the scene, so we'll be reminded of what actually has to happen. So this was episode one, part one, which if you watch the story so far video on YouTube, you'll know all about that. Um, and this is the what we've been working on, um, the second quest, which has is pretty bulky. It's a pretty bulky quest, this one. Um, and we're literally at this point now. We're at the end. We're right at the end. So we'll look for we'll look forward to working on new content when when this is done. And start in the next quest. Huzzah. Um, so yes, we. I'll have a look at that. We'll think of some ways to make the scene as awesome as possible. And I don't think it's going to be a very long scene compared to the first scene, which was literally all of that. Um, well, all of that actually. Um, the first part of the scene was like five minutes long, um, and this one I couldn't imagine being more than a couple of minutes, maybe. Um, and it's mainly going to be Rose doing a painting animation. Okay, so I think we'll get up and at the notes that we were working on a couple of streams ago. Because uh, there's some stuff in here that might be handy for us. Here we go. It took place in the southwest of the USA in the 1880s. I was a traveling preacher with a dark and murderous past. I was also the estranged brother of the victim. Needed to ensure his land stayed with the family. Ooh, I want to do a murder mystery now. I want a murder mystery quest in Road Drop Chronicles. Now you've got me in the mood. you got me in the mood, Oracle. You can't go wrong with a good uh, murder mystery, can you? We had the costumes and everything. Oh my god, you went all out. That's awesome. That is proper role play. I appreciate that. Right, so okay. So I'm I'm going into this blank today, guys. All this planning for this next part of the quest because haven't really had time to, other than fit, sort out some stuff with the battle st side of things, like some troubleshooting issues. I've not really been working on anything else because I'm making this my off stream focus for now um no but I posted two replies and no one's replied so but it's one of those things that I've asked that is it's pretty tough stuff and I don't even know if there's a solution for it that that's what happens when you try and uh, do some awesome in RPG maker sometimes you can't do it but I'll always try because I want to I always want to try and stretch and challenge myself, you know, there's nothing wrong with, with trying that. Okay, so here we are, right, I'm going to copy this little section because this is the bit we're focusing on. Um, I think I'm going to just make some notes. <clears throat> Actually, it might carry, it'd probably be sensible to carry on from here because this is uh, all the same scene. Maybe from this point. Ew, look at what's happened to that text. Yeah, draw can be weird sometimes. And I have been thinking of switching to, um, what's that other one, beginning with T? Van Delia recommended it actually. It's the popular one. Um, completely forgot the name of it now. Which is uh, I I I I want to look into that one just because um, 
I think that's the proper thing for this. And hi, Van, I was just talking about you. How are you doing? Good afternoon, good evening. Oh, what it was, Van, I was, um, you recommended, um, right now, as you know, I use Draw Eye, don't I, for doing dialogue. Um, and you recommended another program beginning with T. I think it begins with T. I mean, I tried it out myself once, so I should remember this. Um, Twine, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Um, and it's. I'm, I'm definitely very much considering... Um, sorry about the weird stream crashing. <laughs> I need to figure out why it does that. Um, but anyway, yeah. As I was saying, I want to just try that one out when we get into doing the, the next scenes, probably for the dialogue, because I think it's going to probably be easier for us, um, because this is the sort of stuff that Draw.io does. I get, I kind of get a bit uh, annoyed at the way that um, the text kind of gets formatted sometimes. I mean, it's not that piece of software. I'm sure it's one of the better ones, but the problem is when you copy and paste things, it's not very kind. Um, so I'm not even sure how to get this text normal. No, no background colour. There we go. Finally, we did it. So yeah, we'll we'll stick with Draw.io for the time being, just because we fin we might as well. Uh, stick with it with this because we're in the middle of a scene, I guess. Um, but when we start fresh, when we start new content and new dialogue, then it'll be might might have an experiment with that twine. You can actually build a choose your own adventure book like game in it. Yeah, well, I know others that use twine to get their dialogue set up. It sounds perfect for us, being as we're doing like a very branchy sort of dialogue um, gets kind of game. So I think it's definitely probably for the best. Um, and it'll be easier for us. So we won't have to waste time. Well, I won't have to waste time messing about so much, I don't think. Um, okay. Um, so we're working on, we're going to be looking at the second part of the scene today. Um, we've we've done the first part. Um couple of dialogue edits that might be done national mars day recommended a couple of little edits which i kind of agree with um just pretty small pretty small ones but um um but it will also i think it'll be a good time to look into the second part of the scene um so this this here this description is from the law the law bible for what is gonna happen so that sort of just summarizes it so I guess we're going to have to think like what sort of dialogue might take place here and what actually happens in the scene. Um, and yes, as I said before, it probably won't be like too long. I can't imagine this one being a long one. And it'll end, it will end the scene with them. Um, I saw, I, I guess the quest uh, journal update to say head back to Lake Fall to hand the quest into Fiona Buckington and um, that will be what, what the goal is to head back to Lightfall and hand it into her and um, everything will unfold, you know. Will Rose be hiding in Carol, you know? She, she can hide in Carol the Barrel perhaps to, to not be seen by the people in Lightfall because yeah, she is meant to be dead. Um, but it'll be, I think it'd be cool to have a choice with how to handle that, like um, I, but we'll think about what actually happens in scene quest, the next part of the the main quest after. We won't get carried away with ourselves and think about that just yet. Because we gotta, we got to like smooth over and make sure the content we're doing now is finished. It's very easy to get carried away and excited about new content. But I'm promising myself not to because... I don't I don't want to get into that situation where you know you end, end up having too much unfinished stuff because that that's something people struggle with I had someone in chat mention that that's something that happens to them sometimes I think it's a very common thing 
you got to kind of di discipline yourself to get the current work finished first before you get carried away um, with the new stuff. Okay, so... Um, when have you recognised a reptile? We can delete this bit because this is all really just questions. Um... This is all just questions that will be said in the story so far video. But this is what happens in the scene. So, after the battle, Rose is able to fulfill Carol's request by finishing the picture she started painting. It is a portrait of a reptile. The party must return to Lake Fall if they wish to find out information on this individual. So, yeah, let's break it down. Okay. So, Rose is going to finish that painting. That is the key thing from, from this scene. And we have the painting right here, guys. I mean, um, I might add a little bit more extra detail on this reptile because it's a bit flat of co with colour at the moment. Um, and this is the red only version when they don't have paints. Um, so if you keep the fruits alive, they will run off with their paintbrush and palettes. Um, and uh, Rose won't have anything to paint with other than her own blood. So we'll be left with a red paint and a reptile. But if you keep them alive, well, if you kill them, then the palettes and paintbrushes will be left behind. You will gain them as a key item or junk, whatever you want to call it. And that will mean we can have a full colour version of the reptile. So we can decide what colour this reptile should be I, today, I guess. We could totally put a poll up maybe. Um, because reptiles can be any colour. We'll look at the character, character form and see what colours reptiles can be. Because they we only have green reptiles in the game so far, I believe. Well, Rex's is green and Juice's is green. But Chub Cheeks's is purple. But because he wears a helmet, we can't even say. Um, but yeah, we have... We can have this reptile be whatever colour we want. Um, and um, because it'd be pretty interesting, the version when it's full colour, because that just means that pieces of the puzzle are solved. Um, we already know their identity a bit more clearly. He needs some love. He does. He's a flat boy. <laughs> He's a flat boy. But yeah. Is Rose the best artist in the world? Maybe she's not bad as a painter, you know. I think this is pretty decent for Rose to paint. Um, but yeah, it, we'll have a mess around with that today and try and get him looking super pretty. Um, and uh, maybe try the doing the full colour version of him as well. Uh, and other than that, yes, just getting the scene planned out. Maybe consider the dialogue will take place in it too so i guess it's thinking when the fruits are dead well when the fruits have either been killed or left alive different things are going to happen based on what choice you picked oh i hear a aeroplane coming down quite low i don't know my mic's picking that one up but yes yeah, so um I, I can't imagine Rose is immediately going to start painting. There is going to be a little bit of an aftermath of the fruits, their fights. Um, and then once that that's passed, then Rose will finish the painting. But I imagine she will be quite prompted by Carol. You know, Carol will be like, go on then. And I don't, I don't think Rose will just uh, do it straight away. I think she's probably going to feel a bit unsettled from the battle and... Um, be considering everything that's just gone down and Carol's probably going to be you know, aggressive and push her to finish it and then she'll do it we've already got the frames here um, well we kind of have the animation a little bit bit by bit frame by frame of how the painting is formed but if we want to add more detail we'll obviously have some more frames extra frames from that um, And then they'll see it's a reptile and then there might be a reaction. I mean, it could go whatever way we want. Um, 
Carol could say something, make a comment. Um, maybe tell us what she knows about reptiles. We could have a bit of a, if we wanted a little bit of law, reptile law just filtered in in the dialogue in a subtle way if we wanted to. But we don't know how much it, you know, Carol knows about reptiles just yet. Like, we don't have a clue because this is the first time they're going to be introduced to the game. So it's going to be an interesting thing. Um, but I imagine there won't be much chat about it, but they'll just be like, yeah. Um, something like, let's go, like, head back to, like, full, see if uh, anybody recognises this reptile um, or has any information on this individual and then it'll all come to light about the conflict between the reptiles and the humans and stuff so, and it will eventually lead to the cave and delightful and going there and finding out stuff and seeking out the reptiles okay so after the battle and then now we got two options so we've got so i imagine we'll have a slight difference in how that this scene begins because of those choices but then it'll eventually merge into the same thing um, once Rose begins the painting, except the only difference other will be that we either have a red painting or a coloured painting, depending on which one. So, full colour if fruit. Full colour of choice two. Um, red only if choice one. Okay, so National Mars, I think I think it was National, correct me if I'm wrong, suggested something I found quite cute and amusing about what could happen if they were kept alive, like how they would exit the scene. Um, and it was that they would go into, hop back into the basket and... Um, like sort of fall into the, the river below and sort of sail away and use the basket as a boat. That's a good escape route. Um, how much of that we see, I don't know, because I don't believe there is a river or water in, on this map. So we'd probably just see them sort of go off the edge of the map and um, it would be our ima imagination would fill in the gaps. But... You know, that could have possibly happened. They could use that as a boat. I think that's pretty cute. Um, but if they're dead, it's going to be obviously a bit more simple because they'll just be gone. I mean, but will they be gone? Will we have, like, fruit residue in, on the scene, like, squashed, like, fruit residue? That would be quite heartbreaking. Um, and uh, what the party say, I mean... They could just... Carol, I can't imagine her contemplating it for long. Um, because she's she's just very focused on the paint and she's not going to really care. So I think she'll be just like, okay, do the painting now, sort of thing. That's how I imagine it anyway. Um, okay, so let's get the paint done first. While we, while we kind of think about the scene and how it's all going to go. So, any ideas, chat, on how we can make this boy, this reptile boy, look a little bit less flat? I suppose shading will help. Um, 
We'll do his red version first. And then we'll think about, we'll just do the full colour once we're happy with how it, the shading looks, I think. And it's not like it's going to be much of a change when we have the full colour. It literally, us as a community, will just think about what colour is going to be and then just change it to that colour. Simple. Um, so, is there a, can we have a look at the reptiles avatar as a little idea for how shading works with them? I think that'll be probably... The sensible thing to do. Because we did make this reptile in the uh, RPG Minecraft V character generator. We sort of got one as a sort of guide, a template for us. And we just simplified him. Um, right, so where is this? Where are these reptiles hiding from us? So we got this one. I'm looking for juices, because juice is also a reptile. But they're pretty much the same. Also, go away, Grid. Don't want you. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, the next probably going to be darker. It's kind of hard to tell just because the style's so different. So maybe we should just like mess about and see what we get. I'm just going to get a slightly lighter red here. gonna be messy right now I'm kind of just testing okay so if there's any like artists hanging out here feel free to give me a little uh, guide if you want because I'm not I'm always I'm always being very bad when it comes to shading um, okay <laughs> Hmm. Sometimes I just get confused where the light would be and where the shadow would be. Like something like this, would that be shadow or? I mean, that would probably be shadow, not light. So it should be the other way around, I'd say. Keep that darker and that maybe this bit lighter. I mean, maybe this is a little bit too light, this red. Maybe we could make it a bit darker, but... Well, you can make the under part of the neck a little darker. So... You, do you mean this section here that's very red? Or do you mean, like, the bottom of his face? Do 
you just need to you just need to choose is the light coming from above left or right it would be a triangle like shape not the bottom of the face but under the neck i mean under the chin oh right so this is okay i assume to have lighter in color um but you mean this here because it's already quite much darker but um, we'll think of the face first because it's confusing <laughs> to think the neck and the face at, one, at once. Um, okay, so. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter what, what the source of light is, the direction. Um, whatever, whatever really, as long as it looks fine. Because I feel like some it's off about how it is currently. But I've kind of not thought about it properly. I've just done it any old how. Um, you can look at a person and it will help guide you. Yeah. So let's um, Google. It definitely helps to have a reference because it can get very... Uh, yeah, a bit challenging to do it blind. I'm going to just put face in Google. Face with shading, no, because then that's an illustration. Um, it's with it's this sort of angled, isn't he? As well, he's kind of facing the left, so face. Because um, I'm getting front faces pop up. Because, I mean, we have our reference image here, but... I can't really, honestly, maybe I've just got, I'm not noticing enough, but the only shading I really see in this is that. And obviously a bit by the eyebrows. Other than that, it all looks the same colour to me, apart from <laughs> apart from the little bumps on his face. Three, three to four, four view face. Okay, yay! What would I do without you, Van? Okay, so. Here's what we've got. We face three, four. Because some of it, like the shading is so, when it's, um, you know, sketching or uh, traditional realism art, the, the shading is so much more subtle and blended. Whereas with pixel art, it's more. Um, so. I could put pixel art in just to see. It'll probably be easier to think of it from a pixel art perspective. Okay, this guy's kind of similar to a reptile. You know, he's not human, so... I could use him as a guide. Oh, you've got one? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a good one. Very clear shading. I think that's what we wanted because some of the, the ones here, they're very uh, subtle. That's very, very strong shading here. So, um, so we could go for whatever one we want then. I mean... Whatever's easiest to pull off. Let's go back to our reptile. I 
think this one's a good one. Like having a print screen here. Let's open paint. Like having the shading on the uh, left and this should guide your shading. Okay. I mean that's a decent pixel art, but I don't know whether it's. I mean we could use both. We can use both as a reference. I guess we'll just plop and both here. Um. Oh, okay, so. It's very big. Oh God, we're gonna have to zoom out because it's almost impossible to, there we go. Okay, so it's it's kind of gone pixelated, so we're gonna have to resize it here, I think. Right, it doesn't matter if he looks pixelated. We're only looking at the shading, aren't we? So no worries at all here. Um, and so what? Would minute oh yeah so I'm gonna get both out we're gonna have this uh orc guy we can have um this one that van sent as well because this is from like just a pixel art shading sort of thing though it, it totally just <laughs> it just makes them look so pixelated when you reduce the size it's probably the setting I've got it on in Photoshop. Maybe it's not on nearest name, but it should be though. Oh no, for some reason it's not nearest name, but what is going on? Only ever resize pics like with nearest neighbour. That is something I found out. There we go, they'll do. I'm not gonna get fussy about this, which is looking at the shading, not anything else. Okay, so. Yeah, so this, they're a bit different. Like the source of light on that one is coming from one side of the face and it seems like it's coming from above on this one. Um, I mean, we can do it whatever we want, but let's, uh... Really, we just want to add a bit of depth to it, in all honesty. We don't have to get pro about this, but at the same time, because this is, this is a cool part of the game, we want him to look, we want him to look cool. Um, okay, so we can, I mean, if we look at... I like how the eyebrows are here, sort of. Um, and our reptiles do have eyebrows too, so it's probably smart to give them eyebrows. Um, I'm doing it the other way around, I'm making the dark on this side of the face and the light on this side, but I'm probably, <laughs> I don't know if I'm there, uh, if it's working yet, but, mm. I 
think it's a little bit light, uh, the red. So if we make it a little bit closer to, I don't know, we might be okay. Um, I mean, it's qu quite strong with this guy. It's almost yellow and dark green with, with this guy. And it, it looks good on him. Also, it's tricky when looking at a human because... It, they don't have the same nose like as uh, reptiles do. So it may, I don't know whether the shading would work a bit different. Some it don't look right, but um, Because, yeah, like, their noses are so, like, <laughs> big that they stick out. So, obviously, the light would probably... I mean, well, the shadow wouldn't reach that side of the face because the nose is sort of there, if that makes sense. Whereas, um, the human nose is different. So, I'm trying to think of how that would work. This is when you're not an artist and you're trying to be. <laughs> yeah, this is why I do, do the art in Raydrop Coracle, guys, because I'll be here until 2050. Okay, um, right. We can try, though. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe his ears should be darker. I could Google Google reptile shading and see how they deal with noses there. Um, Yeah, it's. I think it makes more sense having the nose have be lighter. Um, let's just see it zoomed out. There's a little bit more depth to him, of course, because that's how he was before. So when you compare him, there's an improvement. Um, and yeah, don't forget, we're only going to see it at like zoomed out. So it's not like we're going to see it in close detail. And yeah, looking at it, he looks he looks better than he did. But I, mean, I still don't think the shading is a hundred percent. We can still get it kind of sorted. Try this, okay? Let's look at that. Yeah, I think the nose is the tricky thing for sure because he he has a, a big nose because he's a reptile. So you'll want to have a, a little brighter, uh, lighter red on him on top. Okay, so is that the, was this it, Van? <laughs> because there's too much of the same red. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get in another colour. I think that could help a lot, to be honest, I agree. So we'll get... So, 
when we say it on top, perhaps this is similar to how, how this orc is, I guess. That's, uh, I think that's a little bit close to the other colour, actually. Um, so, I don't know whether this will be the colour we use, but we'll use it for now. If we want to change it to a different shade of red, we could cut, totally can afterwards. Probably better to have some sort of, yeah, that there. Yeah, should we go down as low as his brow? Or is that too low, do you reckon? Maybe going down as low as his brow. Unless the brow was this colour, then maybe it would be fine, but... Yeah, we probably don't. I'm thinking maybe not quite as low as his brow, just because it looks the contrast is a bit strong between the light colour and the brow. Um, it works really well with this guy like, having the contrast, but I'm not sure it does with our style that we're going for as much. Would this would this lighter red go anywhere on the nose? Maybe. Um, kind of curious. Or would it just be on the head? I guess that's the question. This might be a, t a tad too light looking at it zoomed out, but. Yes, yes, okay. We'll get there with this guy. He's going to look awesome by the end of the stream. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's like how... The question is like how much, because... He looks like from the zoomed out, looks like he's got a big his mouth a mouth wide open. So yeah, we don't we wanna be careful we don't give that impression. We've got to get this shade incorrect. I mean, would it go as high as this and round the eyes? Cause it something looked a bit odd about only having it on the uh, on the nose. We need to like make sure the shading's shaped around the brow properly. Have I gone a bit over the top here, do you think? Do you think I need less of the lighter colour or do you think it's alright? Yeah, will we will it go as far low as this his brow looks very dark now like when we look at him so something needs to be fixed there i do like that we're having more shading with him though i think it's um he's definitely looking like he's got more depth when we look at when we look at him compared to this guy. That's how he was originally. Yeah, it's just that brow's a bit dodgy. Um have to be meet, meeting soon, so I'll be quiet for the a bit for the coming up. That's totally fine, man. No worries. I'll try and get him looking good while you're gone, I guess. <laughs> um where well, your eyelids would have a light colour, but where it recesses back under your brow is darker. Okay, so So 
So yeah, so if these are the eyelids, I guess, if you think of it like that. But then the brows there. So yeah, I think I've I've kind of got it. Some it's still a bit wrong with it. Maybe it's just too dark. Or maybe there's um maybe this needs to be light here. I'm not sure. Have to just experiment, I guess. Yeah, I think the, the issue was his bow just looked way too thick and dark. But in all honesty, um, I think it looks a bit better now I messed around with it just a touch. Maybe it's better to be more subtle with the brow and not have it be so strong. Because it's not like they have strong brows, is it? It's kind of just... They don't even have eyebrows. It's just like a sort of... How would you describe that, really? You're getting closer. I am getting there, aren't I? As well. So, looking at them now, let's let's just hide these temporarily so they don't distract us. And maybe I'm a bit too zoomed out here. But this is what you're seeing here on the screen right now. This zoom view is kind of how I guess it would look in game. I think what you see is how. Because for me, it'd be like... It would be that, but I'm seeing a full monitor here. You guys are only seeing it squished into my overlay. So that's not how it is for you. Yours is probably more like this or that or something. So um, I think something looks wrong here. It looks a little bit square here, probably. Um, Chameleon, thank you so much for a two month sub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? Appreciate it. I'm I'm back streaming again, guys. If you wondered, if anyone wondered where I was on Monday, I um it's always in Discord announcement, guys, just so you know. Um if I if I happen to not be streaming on a certain day. Um, but thank you so much for the sub, I appreciate it. Let's have some hype in chat. How has your weekend been, Chameleon? Nice to see you back. Sorry about everything. No, that's okay. It's one of those. It's what can you do, really? It's one of those things about life. It is something none of us can escape. <laughs> but we got to just carry on. 2020, eh? It's been a hell of a year. So yeah, I felt like he was a little bit square at the top, so I'm kind of trying to round him off just a tad. Um, maybe he's a little bit better if he's not all, if he's no, if it, we have a bit of a darker colour there. Um, I mean... I think we're getting closer just a bit and also his neck as well we might you yeah, know want something slightly lighter there it's only dark like underneath his chin I guess wouldn't it I think I remember Van saying that so if you're curious what we do in chat right now if anyone is just popping in um we are working on a painting that happens in the next cutscene of the game. And we, we might have a poll later on Discord, maybe. I'm thinking we could put one up about where we decide what colour the reptile should be. Um, 
because we haven't made our mind up of what his colour should be yet. And I'm also thinking, should we have a lighter colour here? I'm like, kind of, or should it, is it better just keeping the dark colour on the right? Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's better having that. But he's looking a little better than he did, guys. He he looked like that earlier, like literally. Before we went live, he was like real flat and stuff, <laughs> bless him. But he, he looks like he's a bit more, got a bit more depth to him now. So I, I like that. I think something that we could do that could help a lot is just lighten up the tip of his spikes maybe as well. So maybe do, do that. Hello, Jewelfish. How you doing? I just want to say that I admire your perseverance to stick into the project. I started like 10 since I found your stream and finished none of them. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you very much. That means a lot. Um, I think it's, uh, it's, it's, it's difficult. Like I come across challenges myself, like, uh, it's definitely no easy task and it takes willpower and discipline and um, even when you when you love it, even when you love it, it can it still takes that. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely a um, thing. But I think there's a lot of um, what's the word I'm trying to think here. There's a lot of satisfaction and um, knowing that you you get you're doing there and you're getting close and for sure. But good, you can do it, John. I believe you. You can you can find a project and and uh, get one finished. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm trying to see if we can avoid any blocky bits, like squarey, blocky kind of bits here. So maybe something like this helps uh, if he if he looks dodgy in a certain area chat feel free to point out because i feel like he's he's getting there but there's something there might still be something that's a little a touch wrong with it maybe the sh that light color needs to be all the way to the top i'm not sure I can't make my mind up how large I want the darker shade area to be. Kind of feel it look he looks better when the shade, when the light kind of co covers most of his face. So maybe something like that. Thanks, you're welcome. But yeah, feel free to tell us about any of those game projects that you're doing and uh, tell us which one you like the most. Maybe you could you could uh, pick one of them and do focus on one of them. Um, hmm. hmm.
think he's getting there, maybe. Um, I'm going to just test something with this shading here. I feel it might be a tad strong. So what I'm going to do is um, have an in-between colour. Do that there. No, maybe that's a bit light. I think he's looking much better though. I wasn't sure at first. I was like, oh, are we gonna, are we gonna pull this off? <laughs> I was like, are we gonna, um, but like, look at, just comparing him to what he was before, there's a, a definite improvement. He doesn't look so flat. Um, I feel that could work well as a portrait, what we've got here. I think he's, we're basically there now. If we, if we were going to make any alterations at this point, there'd be small ones, I'd say. Um, I did get rid of the brow, though. But we can always try doing this. We can always add something here to represent the brow, if it looks subtle enough. Might be a bit heavy having two. Yeah, maybe just something like that. And then he then he has the brow, but it's just uh, very, very subtle. It's not uh, too heavy. Um, I got exams coming up, so picking up any of them wouldn't be a wise idea. But I think finish the port of the immortal to scum. Mian would be the best project for getting me back into it. Anyway, always a pleasure catching your stream. Thank you. Thank you very much. Like, I'm pretty. Yeah, I have a lot of fun doing this. Like, for me, I know that if I wasn't doing this or any other game project, I wouldn't. I'd be bored. What else would I do? It's kind of my thing. Um. And I'm at this point in my life now that I have more fun creating rather than consuming media, like playing games or watching uh, Netflix or anything like that. I, I, I kind of have more fun actually creating. It's all right doing that once in a while, but I um, I get a lot of like fulfilment from from making something. But good luck with your project, that sounds fun. And if you ever want to share it in our Discord, because we do have a creative work section, feel free to. Okay, so I'm, I'm happy with our reptile boy. I think he looks too bad. Um, but of course, if there's any artist pros in chat, um, feel free to let me know if there's anything that's slightly off with him. I mean, I made his ears slightly darker there. I don't know if yeah, maybe that's fine. I feel like maybe, should it be the darkest one? No, probably that one. Okay, so. So he has changed a lot. Let's look at the difference. So um, that's what he was before and that's what he is now. It's better, right? It's better. And we did that in what, an hour? Which for me is good. Because <laughs> I can very much take a long time with things like this. Discord, yay! Feel free to join for sure. My hair's misbehaving. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec, guys. 
because my hair's being silly. I'm still here. <laughs> For some reason, it's all come out of the bobble. Hello. Didn't know you had a Discord server, otherwise I would have already joined. Well, better late than never. Better late than never, I say. <laughs> okay. But yeah, Discord, like, we... I'm not, like, as active in it as I'd like to be. Um, because I'm so busy with the project. If I could, I'd be in there more talking with everybody. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it can be hard to, to, to chat and be on social media without getting distracted. Um, but I anything like important always goes in there um, that's related to the stream or if there's a stream that's cancelled, like a cancel Monday stream, I'll be saying in there. I never say on anywhere else. I never put it up on Twitter if there's a cancelled stream or anything. Um, so yes. Um, tell me about it. I don't know. People can keep up with all the social media and still be productive. It's impossible. It's literally impossible. It's definitely something I've realised for sure that I can't do, but because <laughs> I wouldn't get anything done. And I'm I'm very um, introverted. I don't really find it difficult to talk to people for too long um that still doesn't mean i don't appreciate you guys I still do um okay so let's we gotta do this uh we gotta do the frame by frame change of this painting so one thing we forgot to do i'm gonna just uh actually merge these now um is this this one has to be here because in RPG Maker it's weird when it comes to what you want needing to animate things you have to do it in every single frame in like in three blocks of three frames not single ones because it's kind of how the engine works so hi Raydo it's good to see you sorry about what happened no worries Raydo it's uh it's the unfortunate part of life. Everybody has a limited time on this earth. Guys, make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them. That is important. Oh my goodness, nearly a thousand, which means you're going to be a legendary ranger up in the Discord very soon again. Okay, so we're going to. It might be a bit sudden if it goes from that to that. So I'm thinking we need to have like maybe a frame or two in between where the shading is probably a little bit slightly flatter than that one so what we're doing guys we are doing this is a uh, the an, an animation we're working on of when bros paints a reptile um after the boss fight it's all part of a uh, the main story of Raindrop Chronicles and if you want to read guys there's a law bible here so if you're curious and you want to see it in full and it has part one there as well feel free to have a look feel free to have a read and we'll be releasing a story so far video as well on the YouTube um, when uh, when um this scene is completely 100% finished. And I asked Nikki about these and she wanted it to be 100% very awesome. Well, no worries at all. You don't have to contact the commission artist because I can add the fairy ears. It's um, 
it's not like that's too hard to do i just have to get some off what off a fairy base and just overlay it on top and delete what the water what is in there um so um so yeah that's good i'm glad that we've got that one cleared so i'll get that hypersprite updated before the next stream then but i know that there's the animation as well with nikki so you'll have to make sure you send me that file over as well so i can do that one too but if the commission artist is doing the face for nikki make sure that they know to put the fairy ears on that one with when it's done because i know that he was in the middle of getting that done um okay so he was completely flat red in this one yes he was so and then he's got three different shades on this one I think this is the red colour we use, let me just check. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm just trying to make sure it's not gonna be too sudden the change from when he looks like that to when he looks like that. Um so we're gonna kind of going for a halfway version where it's kind of starting to get a bit of shading but not like tons. In fact it might be smart to right let's just go back to what he what he was before there we go um maybe do it like this so this just make it slight bit darker Hope you had a good weekend then, Raydu, by the way. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> hmm. There we go, that's probably better. I'm actually gonna just 
because it's kind of hard to tell when it's all up there so I'm gonna put it here so we can see the difference so it's, it's got to be gradual frame by frame thing so um, I still think it looks too close to that one so Yeah, maybe something more like that. Yeah, I feel that could work. That seems like it's the in-between of them. So, so, we just don't want it to be too sudden, you know. We don't want it to look like that and then in the next frame it's suddenly like that, which is a lot more, like, detailed. So that's that's sort of the in between. Okay, and I think that's it. So what we just gotta do now is move. Let's flatten it. Move them up here. Copy them three times. Okay, so I think that's it. That is one of the versions of the reptile being painted. Um, so Rose got gets to about that point, I think, before the battle starts. And then she's going to do the rest of it after battle. So we can test that in RPG Maker today, I guess, to see how it looks. But there are going to be two versions of this reptile. Because this is just a red colour. That, and that is because Rose only has her butler to paint with but if you keep the fruits if you kill the fruits you get more paint colours so we're going to do a full colour version of him as well but we'll do that after we'll make sure that all this actually works in the engine first before we do the next colour um, hi five commando how are you doing what software do you make sprites with this is actually photoshop um, I use both Photoshop and Graphic Scale, but honestly, if you look, we, we have an FAQ page on our website and the first question on there will answer anything when in regards to software that's used. So, um, yeah, the, the FAQ page is definitely the place to be. If, if you've got any other questions, I'm hoping that will get answered. But yeah, that's a very important question. That's why it's number one. I think it's number one anyway. Welcome to Stream Mode Commando. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good week. Okay, so let's let's save this now. And I haven't opened RPG Maker yet, so I'm gonna do that now. But I'm happy that we've got the reptile looking a little bit more um, detailed than he was before. Um, I'm glad we, we did that. Nice, easy, nice, easy enough job to do on stream. Okay, let's have an RPG maker for us then. And I think this should be straightforward enough to implement an RPG maker. We'll see, won't we? Okay, so um, Photoshop can be hidden for a second. Um, and we are in on this map. Um, and this is where it all takes place. Um, and what what event number is it? It's event number 19, the easel is. So 
If we look and open our event window, our event editor, this is where all the scene takes place. So Rose start, started painting at this point and that was event 19 and how we an managed to animate it. So it is all done by setting the movement route and turning them in different directions. We kind of hack this the engine to make animations because you can't really do this sort of thing by default. Our PG makes very limited in terms of animations, but there's a way, there's often a way around things, and it's it's always fun to do that. And what are you working on right now? We're working on the second part of the cutscene with the fruits. Um, if you've checked out the uh, Discord, get it up because. I like you guys to know. Um, in the scene discussion channel, I'm kind of regularly posting in scenes as we do them. Um, so we've got Carol's flashback scene here, and we also have the fruit scene as well here. And these, those are two scenes that happen in the second main quest in the game. So what I'm working on now is the scene that comes after this, and it's a it's a much shorter scene, um, but it's the aftermath of the fruit boss fight um and it's kind of like the the sort of sandwich in between the boss fight and the next quest so um that's what we're working on now it's it's uh we're gonna like be thinking of how that scene's gonna unfold and stuff because um we have like we, we're kind of making a little bit of a summary about what's exactly going to happen when we was in the middle of that. But we're going to test the painting first and make sure it looks cool. Because the rose painting section is kind of like most of this scene. I'll check it out. Yay! Yeah, be sure to have a, a little peep. Well, I'll be making sure to do that quite often whenever... Whenever there's a new cutscene in the game, they'll they'll be popped into that scene discussion channel, and it'll be the, the opportunity for you guys to um, give a bit of feedback. Whether even if it's not anything to change, even if you just want to say "good job," I thought this bit was awesome, and those sort of comments are fine as well. Um, but of course, there's like sort of notes on what sort of stuff we in terms of feedback and that because that'll always be things to improve on you know and things like the dialogue and especially and um and things like that so oh did we had someone join yeah joe fish joined our discord so i should be saying welcome Okay, so what we're going to do here, because we we have a boss fight before this scene, we're going to met. Obviously, we're not going to want to go through the whole boss fight before we test this. So I'm going to for now make a new event page that's on parallel, and um, I'm going to just put a self switch on it for now. Just put self switch D actually. Um, so when we load this scene up, what we're going to do, we'll just temporarily put on self switch D on. And that means it will go onto this new page instead of do all this scene, which is what, how we'll be able to test it. So um, Hopefully it'll work out because we might have to position the characters actually sat. Yeah, maybe we're going to have to do things a different way now I think about it. So we'll delete that. Um, how are we going to... How are we going to do this one? Um, hi Rod, how are you doing? It's good to see you. How was your weekend Rod? Oh, the weekend hasn't been yet. I lose track of time. I lose track of time. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna I think for now I'm gonna make a test scene um, I'm gonna put it here so 
So this is just a copy of the other scene and I'm going to make sure they're all positioned in the positions they should be in. So Rose would be here. Um, let's get her sprite there in place. Um, actually, they wouldn't be here. Um, there, there would actually be all, all here. They'll be in the same positions that they were when in the at the end of the scene before the battle. That's probably the best way to do it. But, but because we're testing for now, we just want to test the pain. We'll immediately begin at this point and we'll do all the the uh, movements and all that fancy stuff after. Um, for now, we're testing. So we're gonna. So we don't get distracted, let's make that basket empty. But we will have to consider how the fruits leave the scene if we keep them alive. We'll also have to consider how everything will be if they're dead as well. Um, So yeah, we'll put that in a parallel and this can all get deleted because don't worry, we're not deleting the actual scene. This is just a copy map, so fine. Okay, so there we go. And one thing I do want to do though is copy event 19. Because event 19 is the painting and that's what we're going to be animating so this needs to be on the frame that Rose last finished on which I think was that one Just farming, getting resources for Final Fantasy 13. Still gonna get back to it, but wanted to check in and see how stuff was. Oh my gosh, I remember when I did that in 13, because 13 was one of the um, Final Fantasies I 100%ed um, back in 2000 and something. <laughs> A long time ago on my Xbox 360. I remember the days. Any plans for post stream the weekend? Ah, so I'll be probably doing something. I was thinking of doing my Twitch trailer because uh, Twitch have changed things now. Our profile pages and they let you upload an actual trailer for your channel. So I think I might work on something like that. Maybe we'll see. It's been it's been on the cards for a while. So, uh, yeah, okay, so turn left, turn right, turn up. Let me uh, try and think here because this isn't, this isn't animated in a traditional way. Like I said, I had to hack, sort of use hacks to do it. So I've got to kind of use my brain on how I'm going to get this to animate. Um, So, turn left, turn right, turn up. 
So that has to change to that one. And there's always going to be 98 frames in between. So you guys can, like, can't actually see what I'm doing at the moment. I don't think you'll see it in a sec. Because for some reason, not every pop-up comes up in RPG Maker when I'm doing like edits and adding stuff to the editor. Um, So it'd be turn left, turn right and turn up. I think the exact same as it is there, to be honest. And then it would change again. I mean, I can always do that so you can see my screen, but it's super tiny. <laughs> super tiny. Um... actually easier than I thought doing this. I think that's it. So there we go, it's there now. So what you what I was just doing was that I was doing all the animation frames so we're gonna test it now um, so this we're gonna temporarily because this is where our load game is and the tally port we're gonna change it to the fake map that we copied for testing purposes so change it to that one and we'll see if it works Where did you go to get lots of Gil Quiggit? Oh my gosh, if only I had a good enough memory to remember, Rod. Because it was like 10, 12 years ago now. Just, just when it when Final Fantasy 13 came out, basically, that's when I played it. I've just, I forgot, I wish I could be a full help. I for, forgot all the place names and items. Have we got background music in the game? Let's make sure we haven't because we don't want it clashing with our audio. Nope, we got it turned off. Okay. Just watch all the choices in you went you went hard in on the paint on in the paint on those puns, didn't you? Yeah. They were too good to refuse. <laughs> Um, son of a book. Okay, why have we still got this scene? Because that's uh, the real scene. So. Hmm, for some reason, it's not letting me quit. So let me get task manager up. With that, heading off to do stuff, so I hope you're able to avoid people as much as possible stay safe when you can't. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Rod, I, I don't talk to humans. Like, I haven't been outside since January. And I haven't spoke to a human in real life since January, apart from family members. <laughs> so, that's me. The, the asocial queen. why that didn't work um yeah for some reason it's still recorded the other scene there we go we'll just do that i think that'll work now didn't save the tally court for some reason for this test scene until next time hopefully and yeah same goes to you rod i hope you stay safe thanks for stopping by and hanging out um
Loading error. Image I've lost, pause, pause, 19, okay. So what that is, is because I forgot to... Just gonna get rid of that temporarily. Because there's a bit of parallax mapping to sell when you do a new map and uh, we don't need that for now because we're only testing. Did you figure out the lizard head? I'm gonna sh I'll show you that. We, I, I'm thinking I'm happy at the point it is now. Um, I mean, it might not be 100% beautiful, but uh, he definitely looks um, different to how you know there's a, there's more depth with him now so this this is what he looked like before and this is what he looks like now let's put them side by side so you can see and we'll zoom in on them because uh... so there we go um Sometimes it's good to put them on top of each other and see the difference as well. So there you go. He's There's, a, there's definitely more depth there. Um, well, I mean, that's what we've done. I decided in the end I liked more light on the whole face. Because um, he kind of looked a bit blocky with it being pixel art, having um, too much dark colour. It was like a big straight rectangle. So I wasn't sure. But I think it, I think there's an improvement and I think I'm happy with him. If there's anything slightly off, like a pixel that could do a changing or anything like that, then you can point it out because we're it should be easy enough to change. Um you can even put a little lighter colour on him in places, but he looks better. Yeah. if we were gonna have a lighter pink, where what sort of spots would you say that pink would go? Any areas in particular? Maybe the nose, like the tip of the nose, maybe. Feel free, feel free to mention because I, I would definitely uh, consider that. I think we could uh, add another frame, I guess, and do that because uh, what I've done here is I've kind of done it so that it's a, it's a gradual blend. So this this version here is like in between the two, and then he turns into that. So it's not too sudden when Rose is doing the painting animation that way. Um, I would put a slight of light red along his nose bridge and on the top of his edge. Yeah, we sh should we do that? We might as well do that now and then we'll test the cut scene. Because I don't think that's going to take too long. So when we say at the top of his head, would it be the edge? Maybe it could be even even lighter than that actually. I think that, that might work, but it's wondering about this side now because we have it, it going darker there, so there probably won't be too much. And as for the nose, so that's probably a bit much, isn't it? Maybe that's too light for his nose. Maybe it needs to be a bit, a bit more subtle. It looks like a massive owl shape, <laughs> but yeah. Um, 
Is that the right position? Because you know me, I'm like I say, I'm no pro when it comes to lighting. It might not even be where it should be. I mean, I've put it on the edge. It might look better in the middle. Perhaps, I'm not sure. Um, you don't have to put it on the right side because the horns are raised. Ah, that's true, actually. So the light would actually be blocking. Um, so we can even get rid of that there. I put the light just between the eyes and down the centre, yeah. Because I did that, uh, my first instinct was the edge, but yeah, some it definitely looked a bit, <laughs> a bit funny. So I don't know whether this is a bit on the thick side or whether we want it thicker. Either... We can even, we have options here. We can go thick or we can go just thin. But maybe it's too, I think maybe it's too strong, this pink. It works well for the top of the head, but maybe we need a slightly less heavy contrast with the nice. Um, then you can lean that colour more to the left because the light is coming on that side. Yeah, do you, th you think it could be a bit thicker on, on here then? Maybe even go lower up to that point perhaps. Slim it out on the right side and wider on the... Uh, not up there on the nose. Oh, right. Okay, so... Slim, slim it out on the right side, so that means get rid of that, I assume. So is something like that more like it? If I'm a bit off, then let me know. Would we go down t to the bottom? I mean, that works. We get in there. I guess it's like, where would that bit, bit be filled in as well, maybe? Because I'm not sure if it works with that dark bit there. And would these eyelids be lighter too, or would, are, they, are they fine being what they were? We're well, going a bit thick here. I'm always very tempted to go thick when <laughs> with it sometimes. Um, now, a couple of lighter dots are where the nostrils are. Oh, yeah, his nostrils. Let's. So, looking at uh, Rex and Juice. Do they have nostrils? They've got like one line here in the centre. Is that a nostril? <laughs> <laughs> they're funny looking guys in an awesome way of course so if we want to go with that i mean we're not going in detail and doing all the scales and stuff because i suppose rose's painting style is a little bit more minimal than the avatars but if would it work if we had a square that symbolizes the nostril I mean, it, it's it's pretty hard to be accurate, you know, because it's so subtle here. It's like a little delicate line. But when you do like a pixel square, it can come on a bit strong sometimes. So, it's, so it could be a tricky one. You might make one darker dot for the nostril hole. Yeah, the positioning, looking at the positioning, it's like the centre, isn't it? Near the bottom, so something like that, but we probably have to do that if that's the case. Is that, is that a bit weird or... 
could that work? I mean, we can give one more nostril because we don't have to like be too. I mean, this is a stylized version, isn't it? The reptiles, really. So maybe he'd suit having the two nostrils. How something like that? Um, use a dark color for that. No, it isn't. But the nostril should be darker. So is that too dark? <laughs> oh my goodness! Maybe. So we, that was what it was before, and that's like the next shade up, but it, is that a bit much, do you reckon? We can kind of go between the two if it is. Be darker. You think it looked good being the darkest? I'm not brave enough, you say. They don't show up that much. Yeah, to be honest, you are right. It does look better darker looking at it zoomed out, especially. Like, when it's zoomed in, it looks a bit much, but it, it's literally just the fear of being having guts when it comes to having lots of contrast you know <laughs> but it actually it's it helps a lot that it, you can t definitely see the improvement so what do you reckon do you think that's uh do you think this works is there anything that you'd change now if you want to put a little light on the raised edge around the nostril okay so the pixel above by that, I assume. The pixel above the nostril is what you mean. There. Or do you mean all of the nostril? Because I'm, I'm sometimes like, you know, instructions in me. <laughs> Just the two dots. Yeah, it gives a bit of depth, doesn't it? Is that a bit light though? Maybe we need to be a touch more subtle. Or is that all right? When you, I met when I showed up at first, I didn't realise it was supposed to be the lizard guy, and I took the snout as a big chin. Oh, DJ, it sort of is a big chin, isn't it? <laughs> a big nose, I guess. It's funny, isn't it, how you can look at something and you can see something totally different. Um, but yeah, if if you have any suggestions, Matt, feel free to say as well. Because at this point, we just want him to look as... I suppose we just want him to look all right, you know? I mean, I, I am a little bit like, should we go all that this far with the nostrils? Because they don't really have nostrils. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering. But at the same time, it is a like minimal version of the lizard. So... Um, it's kind of hard to replicate what they look like in this style with such small area of pixel art, you know. Um, and uh, I think the lighter colour on the top of the snot, the snot <laughs> could be a little lighter colour because when you get far away, you lose the definition. Well, I definitely think, you know, you're an artist fan, so you know what you're talking about. So I'm definitely going to be considering your opinion so you think he, we could go lighter then because i thought i thought it was quite light but as you know i'm not brave enough when it comes to contrast um but yeah could we even put this shading here though like i know i'm thinking those three darker pixel dots 
because it's it's meant to be light coming down on his head it made more sense for them to be that color i guess to me anyway um so is this a different guy or something is it the same guy but red due to some distortion in the magic projecting his face it's red because of um rose painting with her blood that's the reason why he's red and we're going to do a full color version of him too um if rose gets access to some paints and that will give her more colors to paint this guy with so it all depends on what uh branch you end up on in the story which one you'll be painting um so um, and yeah um and which by different guy who do you mean yeah it's not either of these two these we're just using these guys as reference images but it, this is just a completely random reptile um and you can get red reptiles, I think that's one of the colours that you can have. To be honest, there's no restrictions on colours when it comes to the reptiles. Um, but this guy is, isn't really red, he's just red because of the paint Rose is using. It. Um, or should we say blood? Uh, how, how gross. <laughs> Um, and I mean the whole snout because the whole snout sticks out and would get more shine on it because it sticks out. Oh right, okay, I get it now. See, at first I, um, well, at first I thought you uh, liked the idea of it just one pixel dot from what I read earlier, but I might have mistake, be mistaken. Um, So lighten that lighter red just a little bit on the snout. Um, so I've got to make sure I understand what red you mean here because I'm I'm getting confused. So lighter red, do you mean this lightest shade here, right? Or do you mean the middle colour red that we've got? Um, because otherwise I'm going to completely be off track with what I'm which of what I'm doing. Um, so we'll get it straight. What colour? In the middle. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're saying um, this here should be lighter, but just on the snout area, not on the whole of the nose. So something like this. Is that too much of a snout? You, you, you think it's all, I mean, I hope it's okay because they don't have like snouts really. Like I don't imagine them having snouts. They kind of have just a long nose, but I just want to make sure they're still recognizable as what they are and not pigs or something um, is all. Um, but I think that's what you what you says when you says have a, a lighter section. You can go up a little further on the nose area with that colour, make a triangle. So something like that. That's the sort of triangle. Yeah. So yeah, I think that we're getting there with him. I mean, how far up should we go? Is that too far? See how the face is starting to pop out a bit? Yeah, he's definitely looking much better for sure. And I guess the only thing now I'm kind of thinking, is it, you know, having the two nostrils is is that the best thing to do or should we go back to just having one nostril in the center i'm kind of just going to randomly look to see but we can always change back if he looks silly 
it's easy enough to change but it's probably gonna look ridiculous and it's 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 as I said earlier isn't it like it's very hard to like replicate such a detailed avatar that we have here and do it in this little small area space so yeah we do have to kind of uh, make up for the lack of detail so i i, I can think yeah we, this could this way of doing it could be fine and it's still recognizable i mean as long as you guys look at that and think yeah that's clearly a reptile and not a pig <laughs> that's really the main thing here so, I think the spikes kind of make it obvious it's not a pig though, hopefully, and the ears as well. And now add a couple of little dots to the ear on the left, oh yeah, because of uh so easy to forget about the uh, there we go so how's something like that is that is that right i'm like all over here because i'm like peering at him but yeah he's he's looking he's looking better I'm happy with him. I'm thinking of just do it next. Summer looked a bit. I think we could get go even further with lightening the spikes, perhaps. Fantasia, thank you so much for that host. How are you doing? Hope you're having a good day. So what do you think, Van? Do you think he's finished now? Is he looking cool? I'm sort of getting a bit ambitious with this uh, triangle. I think maybe I've pushed it a bit far adding extra pixels there, but I'm just curious. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I should have gone that far. We'll go, we'll take a little bit off. Well, I would add some darker shading on the right side of the horns because the horns block the light. Okay, so let's just pick that darker red and do that. There we go. So how's that? He's so much more like detailed, it's awesome. Like the, what a few simple colour additions can do. Looks better, yay. I mean, Rose is a star painter doing that. You know, it's not bad for a <laughs> for a for a quick 12 second painting, is it? Um but yeah, look at the difference. Like, if we just, if I zoom in a bit more, he looked like that before, and now he's that. Thanks, Van. That's like really helped. Sometimes you don't realise until you do that and you see what it was before, and then you see it now. And yeah, there's no mistake, and it's a reptile. And I know he's 
his nostrils are a bit more defined than how they're meant to be put. I think that works for the minimal style that we, we've got here. Um, so there we go, let's flatten him. Yay! <laughs> So I'm excited already to do a full colour version of this guy. Um, before we do that though, um, I want to make sure that the painting works because we're going to test in RPG Maker Rose doing this painting. And once we know that the painting looks cool um, and there's no glitches or anything like that, then we can happily do a full colour version of this guy. But we'll have to consider what colour is going to be because uh, th we've got choice. I don't want us to just say, yeah, we'll have a green one. I want us to to consider um, what colour this guy should be. We've already got two green reptiles in the game, so. Um, okay, so. Flatten, merge visible. Okay, so that's saved now. So back in RPG Maker. Now there's just one, because we've added a little bit more detail now, there's just one more addition that we have to do to this animation. Um, turn right and then wait 90 frames and that'll add the new, the new updated detailed one. Hi Lols, how are you doing? Welcome to your stream. I just joined the stream because it looked interesting. What are you doing? And thank you for that follow by the way. Well, we're making an RPG here. I I build the thing and chat to help me shape the game and all the decisions we make to build and put it together. So um, if you want to have a little look, we've got an FAQ page on our website and any like of the main questions people tend to ask are on there. So if you're curious and want to have a peep, feel free to have a browse there. And feel free to ask me stuff if you've got anything you want to say as well. Welcome, it's always good to meet meet people. So I hope you have a good week. But yeah, we're all we're not RPG nerds, aren't we here? We we that's why we make an RPG. And thank you for stopping by. Um right, so save. So let's let's test it. We've still got a test play up, so we'll cro cross that off and do it again. Fingers crossed that Rise paints this painting perfectly. <laughs> okay. She isn't doing it, and the reason why she's not doing it is because I don't know. We'll have a look and see. She's kind of started. Let's just quit and do that again because. I want to see like how smooth it is and um, if she does it, if it looks good really, that's kind of the thing we're testing here. So it's on parallel, so really that should mean it works. Nothing ever goes smoothly when it comes to things like this. So. Left, right, up. Wait for completion. Maybe I need to check that. I'm going to have a look at how I did it in the other scene. If that was on wait for completion. Then. Hmm. 
Interesting. We'll test it again anyway. Something happened. Oh my gosh, okay. She's doing it, but it's going wrong. Something's being painted anyway. <laughs> At least it's working. She's just doing it wrong. And now it's disappeared. Okay. So I've done the animation a little bit wrong, as you could see it wasn't in the right order. So something's gone wrong there, but at least it was working. Um, so... <laughs> you'll get it yeah it can be a tricky one because um they like obviously this isn't the way i'm doing it isn't it's a hack because in rpg maker you can't actually do advanced animations like this so it, it, i'm like sort of hacking the <laughs> the uh the movement route thing to get this working and it takes a little bit of thinking to figure out how to do it Hi Neffle, how you doing? It's awesome to see you. Are you having a good Wednesday, Neffle? Hope you're having a good day. Um, turn right. Uh, so I thought that I did it all properly, to be honest. So I'm looking through everything here and it seems fine, but I'm going to have to do another test play to get a better grasp on what exactly has gone wrong. Because it's sometimes you got to, I want to figure out what frame actually messed up and when and then I'll be able to understand better. How are you doing? Not doing too bad, Neffle? We're we doing uh, some testing and making making sure things are working in the game. Good times. <laughs> so let's have a look again. How are you been now, Neffle? How what what how has your week been? What you been doing? yeah so part of it works like but for some reason it's going back a few frames now and again and it shouldn't be i mean it shouldn't be doing this like that bit's correct but then it goes does too much and then it get goes back some frames and then that it does that <laughs> But it's going to be great. When it actually is working, it's going to look cool, I think. It's just getting it uh, It's getting it proper. And to be honest, it might take a bit of focus, this just this little thing. Because um, I, I checked and it looked fine to me, and it's obviously something that's a little bit trickier than I thought. So I think we should go back into looking at this and make the full colour version of this guy or um, at least make a start on doing the full full colour version of this guy um, so I'm gonna just cross him off I'm gonna copy I think probably hmm actually 
we'll just do this on the same sheet for now just so we can see them all together and when I say full colour, literally, it's just a change of colour. So it's not red. That's going to be the only difference. Um, and, oh, yeah, maybe we'd give him a different eye colour as well that isn't red, of course. Um, and we need to look at the website, though, and see um, what colours the reptiles can be. Because I forgot, actually. I want to see what options we've got. I'm thinking of putting up a poll for it. Like maybe just do three different variations of colours that could suit him. I'll just pick a random three off the uh, reptile scale colour list. And then you guys can vote on your favourite and whatever wins will be the colour that he officially is. The character when we make him. Because we'll have to make his character at some point. But we're not going to meet him until the third main quest anyway. Um, I'm doing okay, I'm stressed recently because of the work. Oh no, what work are you? What work is it that you're doing, Neffel? I hope it gets less stressful. I think a purple might work. Yeah, see, a purple would be a great colour, but he's. we also already have a purple reptile that is sort of his boss, this guy's boss. He's like the minion. So we might, if we wanted to make him look a bit different to him, um, that could be cool, just for variation and variety, but the guy, the reptile that's purple is actually armoured up, he's like got a helmet on, he's that guy there who's walking across the screen with the purple coat, so we, we don't even know he's a purple reptile, so it's not like... But this is going to be your choice, guys. I'm going to put... Th I'm, we're going to pick three colours and then wh whatever wins the poll will be the one. So, um... Okay. I'm getting a hungry one. I might go get a snack in a, in a bit, folks. But it's actually getting pretty close to my dinner, so... I'm not sure. I think I should, uh... I should have gone now. Okay, so. Right, so I'm going to go on our website, guys. Because that's where we get the character forms at the moment. And we're going to just look at what reptile skin colours we've got to choose from. And these forms will be going off soon because they'll be going on a private link. So we'll make the most of them being on here. Okay, so these are all the beast colours that we kind of have the choice of. So I'm going to copy and paste those and put them in an iPad file. Oh, and the eye colours as well. So we can pick an eye colour for him. I think that's, uh, yeah, that's all we need, really. And I think I think all their um, horns are the same colour, which is white, so. Okay. Yay! Joe has joined the Discord and filled in the introduce yourself section. Thank you. Okay, so we got a lot of choice. We've got black, white, grey, light brown, dark brown, red, orange, gold, green, teal, blue, pur purple, pink. And we already have a green reptile. We've got two green reptiles in the game at present. And we've got one purple reptile. And there's all these other colours that could, that we could use. And if we think of what this reptile's personality is like, I mean, we haven't really developed a personality for him because he's just a rando at this point all we know is that he's a minion of chub cheeks's character and he kidnapped carol the barrel's wagon 
um, but personality we know nothing about but I think it would be cool if he wasn't like totally evil and that I think we like had a little bit of a discussion about him a couple of streams ago and we said that there was sort of ideas about him having a family a little rep like a, a little reptile baby to provide for and that's why he did the kidnapping and hijacking just so he could afford to provide for his baby so it kind of makes it a little bit less evil then we'd, um, we're not i mean i'm not anyway into the idea of making one race evil i like to have um good characters in all so the reptiles aren't the evil race even though they're sort of the antagonists right now you know there's room for grey characters among them and um, I think having a sort of sympathetic plot for the guy and the fact that the kidnapping isn't as straightforward as it seems and he didn't just do it for evil deeds kind of makes it a little bit more sympathetic especially because you know it's kind of what we, where we're going for hi richard how you doing aquamarine aquamarine blue blue is a color for sure and if it if he is if he is going to be the daddy of a baby reptile if we're going to do that kind of thing for him because it's been discussed i mean we don't know for sure if that's going to be his story but if it is then that means his baby would probably be the same color so we got to think, what would, what colour would a cute baby reptile be, guys? What colour would look really adorable on a baby reptile? I kind of agree. I sort of that would be adorable. Um, so so yeah, guys, I'm 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 gonna let chats pick some colours if you wish, and I'll I'm, I might I'll, I'll I'll likely pick the ones you say. So Richard has said. Bright spring green, oh that would be adorable too. Like a bright version. Like so we've got Rex and um Rex and Juice. His characters there green. But you're thinking more of a a brighter and lighter colour of their of what they are. Which I think could totally work. And I, I also kind of like the the reptiles we've got, most of them are would be green that would be interesting and chub be the only purple one that that would be an interesting sort of direction to take it um so black white gray light brown dark brown dark red orange gold teal blue purple and pink so i'm thinking yeah we'll we'll go for a light green that mom says a spring green we'll go for a sort of lightish blue as well like an aqua kind of blue and um maybe the other one uh, brown <laughs> like a, a neutral color maybe if we want to if we want to go for a, a neutral because if we're picking blue and green so yeah maybe we should we should do that so bright spring green blue slash aqua marine and oh look at this cutie let's look Look. I'm going to click on your link. It'll probably take a while for the link to come up because it always opens up another explorer. But oh my goodness, look at that! What? That's like a goldy yellow, isn't it? Should we should we add that as our other colour? Should we have the choice of green, blue, slash aqua, and goldy yellow? He he'd match with Oliver. Oliver's also golden yellow. So I agree, it's a cute colour. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah. So I, I wanted to mention that, guys, that think what would make a cute colour baby reptile because I like the idea of this guy having a baby reptile as a child to make his plot a bit more sympathetic and also to get us as the player attached to the reptiles more easily and kind of have a bit of sympathy for them about being sort of isolated to that cave and uh, you know it you know they're not it's not all it's not going to be about going to the cave to hunt the evil reptiles and kill them all it's kind of going to be about going in there and finding out about their 
actually quite sad lives in the cave, you know. I think that's more interesting, a more interesting direction to, to take stories. And uh, yeah, we can totally have a baby reptile that whatever colour this guy is going to be is going to be the colour of his baby, it's decided. So candy apple red with a green flake, oh my goodness, that's quite cute. So yeah, the only thing is we can't have red as a colour, it's just an unfortunate thing because the blood, the pa because of narrative reasons, Rose paints with her blood in the version of the story where we it's we don't know his true colour. It's hard to explain um, if you haven't read the actual summary of what happens in this scene yet. Um, but basically Rose paints with her own blood and that's what, what this is and the reason why this is red because she's painted it and she's only got her own blood to paint with. But there's another version of the story where she gets access to some different colours of paint which will allow her to paint a full colour version of him if you have those extra paints. So that will mean we'll get a different coloured reptile and the true colour of what the reptile really is. Um, so uh, we're thinking of different colours here. We probably do three different versions and pull the pollen and see which one comes up. So I think this green one is cute too. Let's have a look. But how are you doing, Richard? I can't remember if I if I properly properly welcomed you into the stream today and asked you how you are. Oh my goodness. See, I'm in love with the reptiles now. All of a sudden, one stream, I'm a reptile number one fan. And I'm, I'm rooting from just because of these pictures. Um, so, so yes, so we go for a bright, a brighter green than Rex and Juice's character and we'll go for that yellow and we'll go for a blue, a blue. I think that's very good. They're very different and good for a poll to have some different colours on there. Do you know okay, I've been looking for a bit while at work? I try to enter a comment here and then where I can. Yeah, and it's always very appreciated. Oh, well, can I love to see you guys pop up from time to time and say hello. But I hope the work's treating you well and not, not going too badly. Ooh. If you want the orange to match the, if you want to go orange to match the daddy more. Oh, so this is an orange. So what you're saying that the daddy would be could be orange as well. He could be orange and white like this cutie. Yeah, like. So instead of yellow, orange is that what you think, Van? So we'll we'll decide the three colours now and we'll do them. So. Bright spring green, blue, sort of aqua blue, and I've got down here yellow, like from the colour of that lizard, but we could also have it be orange if we think that's better, because, you know, just because if, if we decide he should be orange doesn't mean the kid's going to be orange, he could be yellow, like, you know, he, but he takes some sort of characteristic from his dad, but he could also be the colour of his mum as well, who knows. <laughs> could go anyway we want it to few choices so you can think about what goes with the story best awesome so what i'm going to do i'm going to make make do these colors now on these three different portraits that we've mentioned and when i put the poll up on friday because we're not going to have time today i don't think i'm going to say on the poll i'm also going to mention a baby reptile so think about like vote for the what you think can <laughs> make the cute colour of a baby just so people know because otherwise they're going to just vote for a, the colour that they like on this guy but I'll probably just put it in brackets or something this this reptile will have a baby so you know pick the pick the colour that you all consider the colour that you also think would be cute for it, the baby something like that I've got to just make sure I've clarified it all properly um but let's do it so i have a drink of water first um okay so this should be easy enough to do like in all honesty 
Um, the only thing that will need changing other than the colour is the eyes. We'll just have to give him an eye. We'll give him an eye colour that matches with with him best and complements him best. We'll give different eye colours to each of them, maybe. So, here we go. So, the easiest way to probably do it, we'll highlight the red bits. Yeah, we'll probably have to grab the outline too. We've got to just make sure we don't grab anything else because we want the wood and the canvas to stay the same colour, of course. I could make that a bit bigger than point sample next time. Okay, um, so we can either do hue or saturation. Or, you know, actually that looks pretty nice. Doing it that way. Usually I do selective colour because it looks more natural. But I think that selective colour is, is better for more detailed pixel art colour changes. But... Um, this is more minimal, so we could just do it with hue and saturation. We'll have a look. We'll look at both. So let's look at the the green. Let's do the green one first. Yeah, it might be a bit much, like, you know what I mean? It looks a bit bright on the hue saturation. It's probably a bit more subtle if we do it this way. So we get it, we got a, a cool orange there if we want to go for the orange guy. Could always do that one first considering he's he's there. I guess it is thinking about how deep, like how vivid as well we want the orange to be. Um that looks decent. I'm gonna, yeah, if we have them three by three, we might grab a bit more. So yeah, much easier that way. We're not we're not there picking pixels forever. Ooh, it's so it's actually quite quite nice seeing lots of different coloured reptiles. Um Okay, so I'm going to actually Google aquamarine so I can see what actual colour that is exactly. Ah, so it's a sort of teal blue, isn't it? Is it? Kind of? That's kind of there. That's like an aqua, I'd say. And now the green. Um, you guys are going to be sport for choice on this poll. There we go, we've got the green shade now, so um, spring green, I'm going to Google that as well because I kind of want to be accurate to the colour that you guys mentioned. Um, bright spring green is kind of like... Well, I've, I've Googled it and it's sort of like a lime green, I guess. 
something like in this picture here it was definitely very springy very yes a, a closer to lime green yes so the green that we've got right now is a little bit on the dull side so um like this one here this color there is more rex's character's color if we look we sort of might be slightly off it's not 100 percent like rex's character but you know it's a deeper green so if we're gonna go for we don't want to lose the detail in color by going too bright so something like that do you reckon that's close what do you reckon if it needs a bit more of another colouring feel free to say a little, little too yellow so we'll get rid of some of the what about that thank you for that follower guest prince I appreciate that welcome to the stream Hope you're having a good day. That looks pretty good yet. Yeah, slightly more green now. So. Let's have a look how they all look from a zoomed out view. Because how, how it looks. Oh, I just hit my arm. How it looks to me on my monitor. It looks larger than how it looks on my stream overlay for you guys. But there you go. pretty cool so yeah we're gonna have to decide what color we want him to be and um yeah what if if you have the version where you kill the fruit she'll be able to paint him as the color he really is which will be one of these three we don't know yet we're gonna put have to put up the pole first but i feel like we should give him an eye 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 colors though because uh Right now, the eye colour is just what matches the colour of him. But we might want to like make it a little bit more clearer that this is a full colour version. Because it's a little bit monochrome at the moment. I don't know if monochrome is the right word. But you know what I mean. It's all kind of one colour at the moment. So we might want to just make it a little bit more um, full colour in appearance. So for some reason we've got a red pixel here on this one there we go so what were the eye colors that were the choice of blue green brown gray gold black red purple i, I always think contrasting eyes look nice um so any does anyone think any, any of these guys would suit certain eye colours? Feel free to say if you don't. We can we can always see how they look. Very, very, very easy to change the eye colour. I'm thinking blue eyes for the green one person like <laughs> I don't know why um this this the pictures you sent me van let's have a look at them they've all got black eyes in that one I mean we could always give one of them black eyes as well but they kind of have more human eyes than the geckos don't they I guess because they did do uh, That might be a bit too blue. I kind of just colour picked the lightest shade. But you know what I mean? Like just adding a different eye colour kind of just makes it more obvious that this is uh, a full colour version. And we can always make the the spikes a little bit more white as well because they actually are meant to be. Um,
and it just brightens it up a bit and makes it look a bit more full colour than the uh, the red the red the red one the rose paints when it's just a blood. Yellow would look good on the blue guy. Yeah, it probably would actually. I always think contrast is uh, always helps. Like di a difference in colour, like opposite of the colour palette from each other. So I'm actually sort of in agreement. That's probably a bit of a bright yellow though, so we'll tone it down a touch. But Hylian, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. There we go. Something like that. Or is that a bit, do you guys prefer it a bit brighter? Is that the bright, is the brighter yellow better, do you reckon? It's just, I suppose it just don't want it get, it's not, so it's not too close to the white. But the bright is also quite cute. I guess it's just this guy now. What, what colour eyes should this orange guy have? Do you think, folks? Hi Rex, how are you doing? You've come in at the perfect time, Careless Handsome. Because we are uh, we we're doing different colours of reptiles because it's we're gonna put a poll up so you guys can decide which one you like the most because whichever one wins will be the colour that we make this reptile. Um the darker yellow stands out against the white for sure. Yeah, I, I think that's the thing, isn't it? It's probably, there's something cute about the, the vivid yellow, but it also makes it look like he's got no eyes <laughs> as well. So it's, uh, we might, we might want to make it just a, a touch deeper, something like that. Well, I mean, like in my years of being burning with <laughs> my stop really I, I never never thought you heard I thought we were gonna get away with it talking about you know, behind your back okay guys so it, we're just this guy like what color haven't we used I mean we've got pink we got purple um, we can even just use the green it seems like we're using the eye colors of the colors that these guys already are but we've just like switched it so maybe a little bit of a deeper green now I do think green and orange do look nice together um, I can hear all yeah look oh look at that that sexy Marilyn you might <laughs> um, okay Maybe we'll have time to put the poll in today, actually. What do you reckon, folks? I think we could do it. Actually, be nice if we got it in, because then we'd know then by Friday what reptile we're going for. And I know that main quest three, and when we get into the cave, is a bit off at this point, so it's not like we're in any rush to get to know what this character looks like. But we are making the scene, and it'll be really nice if we can get Rose doing the full painting as soon as possible of whatever wins this poll. Um, so the red version is when Rose only has a blood to paint with and this is not the true um, look of this character. Um, he's really one of these colours. So it's all gonna go it's all gonna go pretty differently if you get the full colour version painted compared to the blood version because um, Carol the Barrel and you will will know what colour this reptile is when we go in the cave. Carol won't be falsely accusing reptiles that are innocent, for example, so it could prevent a lot of conflict that is not necessary um, with the reptiles. So you might find that that could benefit you. Knowing the colour boy could also have some drawbacks too. Who knows? Put it be. I've got the burp, so I'm going to just save this file 
and we will get this poll ready. We've got time before the end of stream, so we can totally do it, guys. But thank you for all the colour suggestions because we've had some really we've had some really good ones. I don't think we could have had better colours to be honest. So yeah. And I don't mind whatever whatever one wins, I I honestly do not mind. Um, because I think they're all cute. In fact, yeah, a little bit brighter there, so I think that's that's a good eye colour there. We'll save again. In fact, I don't know why I'm saving because um, these need to be put on a separate sheet. I guess I. In case Photoshop crashes, we don't want to lose them. Yeah, all three look great. Yeah, it's going to be impossible to do a vote, isn't it, on this? Because they're all awesome. And um, don't forget, guys, with this part, this guy is going to have a baby son. He's going to have a baby son. So whatever colour wins the poll is what colour we're going to have it, the baby reptile to. So what one which would look cutest as a baby green blue or um orange that's the question but don't say in chat to save it for when you vote on the poll guys also i forgot to change the color of these spikes oopsie we haven't they're a little bit brighter i'd need the full color versions Oh, another thing I've just realised that the full colour version could have, I mean, like I've just realised this second, is that we could have a bit of clothing show, like he, this here, his neck could be his clothes, you know, I haven't considered that, it just makes it a little, a bit even more obvious that it's full colour as well. I don't even know what colour shirt he'd wear, to be honest. Um, and it's probably better to keep him sort of naked for now, so that we don't, it doesn't affect the poll votes or bias. Because so if we gave him, say, like a, a, a certain colour outfit, it might look better on them, other, other colours, so. Yeah, we'll keep it. We'll keep him like this for now, but we'll consider at, at giving him like clothing afterwards. Okay. So I'm saving it. I'm gonna think about the wording for the poll, um, and we'll get it up. Okay, so I'm in Discord. I for completely forgot how I formatted my polls because we don't we don't tend to do them all the time now. We just do them when there's a good opportunity to. So I'm gonna look on the website and see how we set this up. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open in Photoshop. So there's a section of folders somewhere here it is. I'm just gonna open this just for I can use it as a template. Uh, 
Okay, so... Yeah, we want him bigger than that, obviously. Okay, something like that could, could work. We'll separate them a bit. So I want to put A, B and C for each. In fact, no, we don't need to put A, B, C. I think we've got emotes that could uh, that we could use, actually. Um, let's just check in the Discord if we have emotes cards for each of those colours. Yeah, we do. Awesome. Um, hi, Rose. Hi, National. If we don't want to decide this character's physical description yet, there's a painting style where the character is all these small dabs of different colour paint. It looks cool and we could actually be how the reptile looks, but it would seem like Vampire Rose was a non-committal with her painting. If we don't... Let me read that again because I'm confuzzled. <laughs> I always get confuzzled. Um... There's a paint style where characters, all these small dabs of different colour paint. Looks cool and could actually be other reptile looks. Yeah, I'll have to read that again at a later national because my brain is <laughs> I'm not I'm not kind of uh, clicking, which is when I get a brain melt that happens. So I'm gonna save your thing and read it in a bit. But I uh, know I'm, I'm, I'm just just gonna <laughs> I apologize. Um okay. I hope you're having a good day. I just imagine Rose was sort of okay doing the painting. I haven't like imagined it from a perspective where she actually didn't want to do it. Um, so it just I'm gonna need to think what what you mean there to understand because. It's like the complete opposite of how we've done it so far, if you know what I mean. Not saying your idea isn't good, I'm sure that there's something there with it, but it's just not anything that's crossed my mind at, at this point. Um, okay, so... Hmm, <laughs> So we can just save that as it is. I mean, we could make them, could we make them a little bit bigger, double the size. Day's getting good, just coming in late, can find any paints that do the start, it's annoying because I know I've seen. Yeah, if you've got a, a picture or something, that'd be awesome. For sure. I mean, we've already done the painting and it's took us most of the stream. <laughs> so we'd probably stick to what we've already got, just for the sake of not like dilly-dallying any on any longer than necessary so we can get the scene done um but i'd still like i want to see what you what you think and what this painting is because my curiosity can't help it um i'm gonna save this image as like Picasso me would I be able to do a pixel up hope Picasso though that would be another challenge altogether <laughs> um, okay um, okay right so I'm in the discord I'm trying to remember how to set up these poles. I think it's that. Let's just test if the image looks good here first though. Yeah. 
Yeah, looks cool. But yeah, it just, uh, I mean, your your idea sounds cool, National, and it definitely would be more mysterious and kind of um, having a more, like, abstract version of the painting. But, um, yeah, we'd have to do it all again. And one of my things I have to make sure of with this project is that we do not take, because we'll, episode one won't ever get released. Like, you know what I mean? We'll be here till um, an another extra year even doing episode one so we kind of have to i like to take my time and make sure everything's like good but at the same time i, I would like prefer not to redo work just because it's time consuming enough as it is guys so i just wanted to crop that reptile painting because it looked a bit weird in the discord um we'll put that in okay so paul i think that's how it goes um what Yeah, this was a tricky one to work because it's not as simple as what colour should this reptile be. I feel like we have to put some context to this question. Um, because there's a story behind it and there's like a plan for the character as well. Um, and with the fact that he's... We've talked about the possibility of him having a baby, which was discussed, I can't remember what stream it was now, but it, I think it was last week's stream, could have been the week before, we had a little chat about this guy and his, um, his uh, story in the cave and we wanted to make him a bit more grey rather than an all and out evil villain who was doing a dirty job for Chub Cheeks, his character. We wanted to like give him a, a reason for why he needed the money in the first place and perhaps he has a family to provide for such as a baby reptile you, you know an excuse to get a cute character in the game so i uh, um i can't it's, there's a, it's not a simple question so i'm gonna have to think how to word this part um So what's the
I really don't know guys, I'm really doing a blank on this one I'm afraid, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get this poll up this stream now. Because I might be overthinking it, we can literally just say what colour was the best colour, just of that. But, um, yeah, it, it's just that there's a story behind this and uh, I mean it doesn't have to be complicated, any of these colours would be fine to win the poll. Um, Hey Rose, paint a pixel art for Castle No Biggie. If I make a colourful, cool, colourful reptile and looks okay, could I drop it into the Discord? What you're you're painting? You're making a cool, colourful reptile as in you are national. Yeah, if you want, if you want to do that, if <laughs> if you want to. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm stuck. Um, I could give it a try. Sure. Fancy doing that. Mm. Might leave this for next stream, guys. I wanted to get it in, but in all honesty, it's, uh, I'm, I'm like drawing a blank at the moment. I'm not even sure. So we might carry it on next stream. Um, stuff can what just the wording of this poll and I'm just being very like because there's a story that it, as we go further on things get a bit more complicated there's a plan for this character you know we've talked about him baby reptile and um, and yeah it's uh, I know I guess it's because it's I'm two minutes from the end of my stream so I'm also panicking I've got to finish now. Um, yeah. Never mind. We can do it on the next stream if we want to. But I still would rather do it today. Damn it. Yeah, forget it. Just get what colour it. Now, I'm at the point where I don't mind whatever reptile wins the pile at this point. So, I apologise, guys, for being so indecisive right now. Um... What colour should the <laughs> Kai Chubba were guy? People would be so confused, but I, I'm laughing because it's funny. How you doing, Chubb? It's good to see you. Well, the baby reptile could be any colour because he's a baby and has a mom and dad, so don't sweat it. Yeah. I think it'd be cuter if they were the same, but it's true. We don't even know if there is going to be a mom, but I assume there could be. You know, who knows? That will decide his family when the time comes. Um, what colour is, should, <laughs> yeah, we can literally, uh, should the reptile that rise paints be, Yeah, that didn't make sense, so we'll just stick that. Um, right, I think I'm trying to remember how I get the emoticons in emoticons in now. It's a little bit can be a little bit confusing. Um also there we go. I'm putting in the Discord guys, so bear with me. I'm gonna get it in before I go to dinner. How are you doing, Chudda? I hope you're having a good Wednesday. Uh, maybe put it in brackets next to the question that will lock in the skin colour of the character it's painted of. Yeah, it's, it's confusing because there's the, pr the problem with this poll is that there's... I'm literally putting a poll up with no context, you know what I mean? There's a story there, there's a reason why it's a painting and who it's, as, as you guys know, who are here, but not everybody who votes in the Discord polls might have be, might be following the story. And it's not like it's a big deal because any colour works. 
all the colours are really cool but it's still nice for people to know what they're vying for you know as well so that's why I'm going through a bit of a dilemma at the moment um hi Oki how you doing it's good to see you I hope you're having a good day how is your Wednesday going okay guys so uh I'm going to put it up anyway because I feel like we've got nothing to lose here. And I know that my dinner's really soon, so. But if anybody does have any ideas, like, of how to make the poll have more clouds, feel free to suggest because my brain has gone blank. I've got brain, brain melt. <laughs> um, so, orange. I think this this will work just doing it like this. Oh, that's a green one, I think. Just blue heart. Still morning. Good morning. Puddle black brain. That's yeah, that's me. That's me right now. Okay, I'm gonna just this is just a test here. I'm just gonna test. Okay, that Yeah, that's unfortunate. What I wanted it to do is replace the um, letters with the, the heart emojis because I know the poll can do that. I've done it before and it looks much prettier. But unfortunately, we don't have time to dilly dally. So I'm going to have to just accept the letters for now. So what colour should this reptile be? And in brackets, we can put a bit of information if we want. I feel like we should. So, um, this choice, the, the one that wins the poll will lock in the, the one that wins the poll will lock, lock in the, um, skip the colour the of this character if that makes sense um um this description of character I know I'm, I might um, may, maybe of this currently unknown character yeah that's actually a good thing I think I think that's probably the best way to put it so the one that wins this poll will lock the colour of this currently because he is isn't he he is currently unknown Um, colour should the painting of this reptile be? I think that that's that's clear enough, isn't it, guys? Um, typo, <laughs> you can tell I've got brain melt because the typos in that were what colour should this the painting, <laughs> there we go, what colour should this painting of, yeah, what colour should the painting of this reptile be, yeah, actually just so it's the poll isn't overloaded, well what I'm going to do is put the poll like that but I'm going to add what Chubb suggested, Below. 
separate from the pole. Awesome. We could, we could, because we've like separated it now, we could expand on this if we want. So, all we know about this character so far is that um, they are a minion of Chub Cheeks. And I feel we could put a link to your character sheet here, actually. So where's... Well, we can say Bocco. Because that's uh, what your character's name is. Oh, no, it's got rid of it, damn it. <laughs> Just all that, all of that good has gone. So all we know about this character, so... That they are a minion of um, and kidnap and hijack. So all we know about this coach so far is that they are minion or a minion of Bucko and hijacked a wagon kidnapping Carol the Barrels family in the process. Um they live in a cave underneath Lakefall. Well, in the Everbloom Forest, should I say. It is underneath like four, but it's probably easier to say this. They live in a cabin and um, he's rumoured, because <laughs> we've had discussion about this, to have a baby reptile. Rumoured to be the father of a baby reptile. Um, yeah, we probably don't want to, we'll put that so we don't get the image show up. There we go. Does that all make sense, folks? So, all we know about, yeah. I might even add here. In, um, so, the colour that wins the poll will likely be the same colour as the baby just in case that like sort of changes your mind on what colour you want to vote for you know we were we want to have a cute baby reptile in the game 
You were pretty good at formatting tests. I try, I try my best. I try my best, Chub. Yeah, actually. Now nah, that was fine in brackets because there we go. I think that's that's uh, enough. So have we got a poll command? I think that should take you there, guys, to the poll. So um, feel free to click. And have a vote on the one you like the most, folks. And then whatever wins, we will review it first thing on Friday's stream. We'll see who's top. And that'll be the one that it is, the colour. That'll be the painting we go for, whatever's top, guys. So um, we'll finally make sure that we complete the scene where Rose paints this painting. And... Uh, and uh, we'll finish the cut, the cut scene. We'll we'll finish planning, and we we did start it a bit here. We'll we'll like plan out exactly what's going to happen dialogue wise, and um, what's what's going to happen in the scene, and uh, get it finished because it's definitely something that needs to get finished, guys. Um, soon because we got lots to do. We've still got a big to-do list for this month. This is uh, July's to-do list. And, you know, we're nearing the end of the month. And I don't put pressure on myself when it comes to deadlines, just going to say. Um, it's very important that I don't do that because I want to enjoy this, not see it as a chore. So I don't care if we don't do it all this month. But um, at the same time, we still want to get it done, if you know what I mean, because otherwise... We, you know, we, we will never finish this, so we got to be a bit wise as well and smart about it. So, um, well, you've had a lot happen this month too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's been, uh, it's it's not been an easy one. So, and things happen, life stuff happens, doesn't it, guys? So, um, and you, so you shouldn't worry. Yeah, exactly. So, yay, thank you for the one vote, guys. I will see you all on Friday. Thanks for hanging out. I'm glad I managed to get the, the pile up before the end of the stream. Because I was, I, I had massive brain melt. And I wasn't sure how to edit. But I think that was fine. Just making it a very simple title and just adding a little bit of extra edition stuff at the bottom. Um, just so peeps know. Um, so, thanks for hanging out, guys. I'm going to head straight off now because I have gone... I've gone way over today and don't have time to do a raid, unfortunately. But I'll see you all on Friday. You're all the best. Thank you so much. Take care.